Team coverage of our boys in blue from right here in Kansas City with the fans to about 1,600 miles away in Anaheim, California with the players. That's where we begin our Royals coverage. Brindley Gonzalez, she got the fun job. She's out in Anaheim right now with the fans. Both teams, they're actually keeping the peace right now. So you can hear that cheering behind me. It's hard to say which team's fans are louder from outside the stadium tonight. Both are convinced this is their game to win. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Angel Stadium. From the smallest and the youngest of fans to the divided households, Angels and Royals here today seem to be able to leave their differences behind and focus on the game. But don't let the facade fool you. Whether you're a Royal or an Angel, there's still plenty of smack talk going around here tonight. Everyone's certain it's their team's time to become playoff champs. The last time the Royals won the World Series, I was four. My little boy's got the same name as me. He's four, so I think the time is right, baby. Let's do it! Sit back and watch the good team. Best team in baseball. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes! We just posted a picture with me giving him the thumbs down, but we get through it. Hopefully, the Angels will still come up on top. Yeah, well, not if the bullpen chokes again. Hopefully, okay. hopefully that happens. All right, here we go. go! So I think that a couple might need therapy after tonight's game. Funny thing is that the Royal in that pair, he's not even from KC. He's just a huge George Brett fan. So you can already see we're recruiting fans already here in Anaheim. Reporting live in Anaheim, Brett Elise Gonzalez, 41 Action News.